Passing college is very tough for millions of Americans. Tuition has gone through the roof. This is one of the most important financial decisions in your life. That's a lot to put on an 18-year-old, and yet we're saying, do you want $50,000 in student loans? I did look at it as it was investment in myself, like it's okay. I always thought everything's just gonna be fine. Everything will sort itself out. Student loan debt is growing faster than any other kind of debt in the United States. It is now the second largest source of debt behind mortgages. We're talking to a, a personal finance expert who was featured in the documentary Borrowed Future, How Student Loans Are Killing the American Dream. Christina Ellis joins us. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, thanks for having me. Uh, let's take a look at the five student loan myths. Your first one is that you can count on student loan forgiveness. That seems pretty obvious. Man, we're seeing so much right now. Obviously, a lot of people listening today are frustrated because they've been sitting here waiting for student loan forgiveness. The payment pause has been delayed over and over again, and there's just so much confusion around it. So what I say is don't count on Washington to fix your house. You need to figure out you know, how you're going to pay off these student loans and not just wait and feel all the anxiety of this continuous confusion. And a lot of uh, kids think, OK, this is money now, and they're you know buying textbooks with it, buying computers. And then they're like, I could just defer those payments. What's the problem with doing that? Well, that's part of the challenge right now with all this conversation around student loan forgiveness. We're talking about forgiveness, but we're not actually dealing with the root cause. We are still issuing student loans right now. Even as this conversation about forgiveness is happening, there are still students going into college, going thousands of dollars in student loan debt. So we need to educate students. We need to teach them financial literacy and help them avoid this toxic system. That's why you know we're so passionate and borrowed future. You know, If you are a parent, if you are someone who has a student in your life who you care about, you know, show them this documentary because they need to see how this system is built to work against them. Right now, so many students are going in blindly, but they need to know the long-term consequences of student loan debt. You, you say it's a myth that you should always consolidate or refinance student loans. Why is that? Well, sometimes you're stretching out the payment longer. One, it could cost you money. Two, you could end up not having a great rate. And three, it could actually motivate you to just, you know, wait. It could take away your motivation to actually attack the student loan debt. Here at Ramsey Solutions, we have a great program called Financial Peace University, where we teach people that you don't have to wait around for 10 or 20 years with these student loans. You can pay them off quick. We've had millions of people go through this program in the average time that it takes for people to pay them off are 18 to 24 months. So this is not something that you need to carry around for years. You can tackle this debt and get it out of your life for good. What about that uh, student loans are forever? I thought that was the one type of loan you can't, you know, wipe away with a bankruptcy or anything else. Not true? Well, it's not true that you have to keep them forever. You can't wipe them away with the bankruptcy. And that's where a lot of people feel hopeless. They feel like they buy into this lie that they have to have these forever. They'll have them until they're 50 or 60. But we're saying you don't have to have them forever. You can take ownership of your life and you can attack these debts and pay them off for good. Is the solution really to go to a school you can afford and just not take out these loans? I mean, people just aim for these dream schools and pay too much for them. Is, is that a better solution? Now you're speaking my language. I love preventative action. Yes, you need to go to a school that you can afford, apply for scholarships, apply for financial aid, maybe work your way through. There's so many companies right now that are offering tuition assistance where you can go to college for free and earn an income. So I am all about the preventative action. You know, think strategically in advance. You know, I'm super thankful I was able to win over a half a million dollars in scholarships going into college. My mom sat me down before college and said, you need to figure out how to pay for this, and loans are not an option. Mm -hmm. And I challenge parents to have those difficult conversations and then walk your kids through you know, how they can go to college debt-free. All right, Borrowed Future, How Student Loans Are Killing the American Dream is streaming now on Amazon Prime. And for more financial tips from Christina, you can follow her on social media. Thank you. Thanks for having me.